Are you looking for a tool that's going to allow your students to find a whole new way to express themselves in the classroom? Stay tuned because do I have the tool for you? With Adobe Express, there is a tool called Animate Your Voice. And this tool allows you to take your recorded voice and turn it into an animated character. This has such potential and the possibilities are endless of how this can be utilized in the classroom. Everything from presentations to public service announcements to simple beginning of the year introductions or back to school night or open house. The possibilities again are endless and kids are going to find this super fun and a great way to engage them in their activities. Let's dive into the application and check out how it all works. All right, here we are in Adobe Express. And while you can see there are many tools here in Adobe Express, we are going to focus on this one here, Animate Your Voice. So let's go ahead and click on Animate Your Voice. And you will see that your first option is you have options here to select different characters that you can animate your voice to. And so I am going to just leave it here with this character that I have selected. Next, you have the option to choose a background. And like with the previous, Adobe has a bunch of built-in backgrounds that you can choose from. I personally like to use the transparent background because that way when I import this into the Adobe editor, I can pick my own custom background that I want to use. So we're gonna leave it with transparent. And then now we're gonna go down and we're going to record. And you can see here we have our record button. We have two minutes that we can record here in Adobe Express. Um, we can also upload our own audio if we wanted to, and maybe we recorded outside of Adobe, we can import our own audio here. And so finally, we have this enhanced speech toggle down here. This is going to make it sound a little more professional. It's going to try to cut out some of the background noise. So I always toggle that on. We're going to go ahead and record. We have our countdown timer, and now we're recording. And as you can see, we have our box kind of waveforming here so letting us know that it's capturing our audio if we need to cancel we can cancel the audio if we need to pause we can pause our audio and then we can resume it we'll get our count timer again and now we can continue recording when we're finished we'll go ahead and click done and so now what it's doing is it is using ai to process our audio and it's going to match it up with the animated character to make it look like the character is speaking with our voice. So you don't have to sit there and watch this load. We're going to go ahead and speed up this part of the video. All right, so now our audio is processed and you will see that it is now finished. We can play our audio here. And so now what we're going to do is we are going to open this in the editor. So now we have more options to kind of personalize and make this recording really stand out and make it really transformative. Let's jump into the editor. Now that we're open in the editor tool, now we have more options that we can do with our character. So now I can click on him. I can resize, I can move him around, I can go to templates that they have already pre-built, I can go to media, I can again go to templates that they have, I can upload a background from my own device, I can use text to image which is going to use AI where I can type in a prompt of a type of image that I would like for it to create and it'll create that image for me. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use upload from device. So now we have this image of Yosemite and now I can adjust the layers over here and I can pull my character in the front. And so now I can have him in front of Yosemite. And then now I can have him playing
And so if this was a presentation about Yosemite, I can have my character explaining Yosemite instead of just maybe doing a presentation or something like that. This adds a little more interactive, a little more entertaining, and students would have a fun time creating these presentations this way. I can also add text to my presentation. So we can title this Yosemite. And I can come over here. I can give it an outline color if I like. I can add different text effects if I want to. If I want to add some, some shadowing, I can do that. You definitely have some good options here. Once I have this exactly the way I like, now I can go to either download it and I can download the file or I can share it. And students can either, again, download this and then upload it to something like Google Classroom or they can click share and then they can share the link to you in something like Google Classroom. Using the Animate Your Voice tool within Adobe Express is a great way to allow your students just another avenue for them to express themselves. See what I did there? It's a great way to allow your students to really dive into their creativity and really gets them thinking outside the box on how they can create something to share their knowledge within the classroom. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I'll catch you in the next video.